okay students this is our class on <coughs> connector uh, it is from hsc syllabus the last class of mine that is the previous one was on correction it is actually on honors second year syllabus many of you i have seen that uh, you have made a comment that is <coughs> uh, on which syllabus i am taking the class that was actually uh, from honors second year and it was mentioned earlier in the page however no problem this class is now on connector now <coughs> before going to uh, <coughs> the examples let us focus on the definition and let us focus on the idea of connector and coordinating conjunctions and uh, <coughs> linking words. Now, we have two particular ideas regarding connectors and linking words. One is connectors are used in between the sentences and not in between the words in a single sentence. Like when I am saying that he is a very good scholar moreover he is a very nice athlete then it is a connector but when i am saying that he is a good scholar and an <coughs> and a nice athlete then it is linking word that is and is linking word and when i am omitting and from this sentence they <coughs> here the whole structure of the sentence is being affected while i am uh, while omission of moreover is not making any <coughs> effect in this uh, <coughs> in the uh, in the structure of the sentence because it is rather connecting two sentences this is one idea another idea is why uh, <coughs> i have just watched it a few days ago in an american website in the <coughs> from the yale university that is both connectors and coordinating conjunctions all of these things are broadly called linking words that is connector is a kind of linking word so here the definition is the same that is connectors connect sentences while li <coughs> linking uh, conjunctions connect words just the word linking word is replaced by conjunction so and is a conjunction basically though is a conjunction basically and <coughs> they are connecting words and sounds and phrases in a particular sentence while we see that in case of connector uh, <coughs> what are being combined sentence are being combined uh, but in our country when we go through the questions we see that connectors are being used even as the linking words so practically when you are going to answer your questions in the script you will see that uh, <coughs> even in between the <coughs> words or phrases in a, a particular sentence there are spaces to use connectors so let's start with that actually some lessons in <laughs> at the hsc level they are based on practice more not uh, that my, uh, <clears throat> not your knowledge or your remembrance on <clears throat> the structure rather you can acquire the skills on those lessons if you practice those lessons more and more of course grammar different depends on practice but this is true particularly regarding this uh, <coughs> these particular <coughs> lessons and connector is one of them so let's start with <coughs> some connectors
there are many reasons of environmental pollution then our first connector is firstly deforestation is one of them secondly we can <coughs> mention urbanization at least the unplanned development activities must be considered here we can see that this is actually a kind of chronology so when i am <coughs> maintaining a chronology we can use these connectors like firstly secondly and in this way <coughs> we can <coughs> go on and uh, while giving the last example we can say at last or lastly the or finally the unplanned development activities must be considered the question is if this is the only way to connect the sentences when i am mentioning a chronology the answer is of course no yes we can uh, start with firstly or at first after that we can say then then and we can say at last the unplanned development activities must be considered so these are the way to maintain chronology firstly secondly thirdly in this way also at first or in the beginning after that then at last this is another way <coughs> or <coughs> first of all then also at last or finally this can be used when we are mentioning a chronology that is when things are coming one after another another thing we can <coughs> do to uh, another particular case we have to use connector when we are adding information now how can i we add information after a particular sentence let's see
so maintaining a healthy environment in our country is a tough job because of our large population here i have to add some information so i am starting with besides we are still a developing nation then i am continuing with moreover moreover people are very much ignorant again our people do not care about health, health tips often uh, this whole paragraph can be understood in the context of covid 19 situation when we see that our people are <coughs> not caring about uh, the advices of <coughs> the health specialist and uh, they are <coughs> not concerned about using mask or using hand sanitizers or they are not concerned about hygiene etc uh, okay now let's back to our lesson that is we can see that we are using <coughs> the connectors like here we am i am using besides then i have to add another information i am using moreover then i am using again <coughs> if i use as well then i may use it in the end that is uh, <coughs> they are also very much unconscious as well when i am <coughs> using the word uh, any kind, I am using any connector in the end of the sentence then I can use as well I can use also these connectors but we may not use besides uh, moreover or again uh, in the end of any particular sentence so when I am I have to add information what I am doing I am using besides I am using moreover, I am using again, I am using also, I am using <coughs> as well. Uh, however, also can be used <coughs> at the beginning of the sentence and at <coughs> in the end of the sentence in both cases. <coughs> but these, th these are the things which we usually use when we have to add information. One particular thing is you should not repeat any particular connector more than once it is better you may not repeat any particular connector because if you write down besides then again write down besides here then again write down besides here just think about the condition now <coughs> if you use this connector again and again the result is the whole text may become very much clumsy to read and the whole paragraph may become very much clumsy when i am listening it you are reading it to anyone that is the reason it's better not to repeat any particular connector so you have to remind <coughs> at least three or four connectors while you are filling <coughs> fill these gaps Let's do another example when uh, <coughs> on connecting information that is adding information. Where, what is that?
the arabs are a very brave nation also they are very intelligent moreover they are very much hospitable now look at these three sentences the arabs are a very brave nation then i am adding the information with also then <coughs> as i have finished this um, paragraph in the last sentence so i can say moreover i can say again i can say furthermore these things can air these connectors can be used to add information to add information <coughs> in any paragraph or in any essay now when i am contrasting information the most important connector and the more uh, most familiar conjunction when i am contrasting something is perhaps but that is uh, he is very rich but unhappy but when i am using the connectors here instead of the conjunction but what are the conjunction uh, what are the connectors what are the phrases i may use Alexander the Great was a great conqueror. However, he did not <coughs> get time to rule over the conquered lands properly. On the other hand, Caesar was a warrior as well as an administrator. <coughs> so here we see that we are making contrast between alexander the great and julius caesar two warriors in the european history and we see that here i am saying that alexander the great was a great conqueror okay fine but i have to make a contrast between his conquering ability as well as uh, between his conquering ability and his administrative capacity 
so i am say mentioning uh, at first i am using the word however and then <coughs> what i am doing i have to make another contrast with alexander the great uh, <coughs> and julius caesar <coughs> then i am using on the other hand so alexander the great uh, so here to make contrast we can use however we can use on the contrary we can use on the other hand we can use contrastingly <laughs> these these are the connectors we can use when we are making contrast you must remember at least three or four words and phrases regarding each cases that is uh, <coughs> which phrases you will use in case of <coughs> adding information which are to make contrast which are <coughs> uh, which phrases you have to use when you are summing up some thing because you should not repeat any particular information <coughs> or a, sorry any particular uh, word or phrase any particular connector while you are <coughs> answering the question so we have added we have differentiated what's next which are the connectors we use when we sum up something let's see people are in our country are still not cautious about women empowerment however <coughs> things are changing now thus many women are now getting a education and achieving higher position well here <coughs> one thing we should keep in mind that is where summing up something is often akin to speak about the result of something so when i am speaking about the result a particular result of uh, <coughs> an incident that is here i am mentioning the result of what the result of 
this whole process that is <coughs> women empowerment then i am mentioning i am summing up this with thus i can use as a result <coughs> so this is perhaps the most uh, this is perhaps the commonest most common connector uh, in case of summing up something or speaking about the result thus and so even often uh, i suggest my students i advise my students that if you can not remember any other thing please rem remember two connectors while summing up something or while uh, speaking about the result that is uh, <coughs> so or so and thus and try to manage your answers with these connect uh, the, these two connectors at least <coughs> not of course regarding all the other cases that is when you have to use however you cannot use so that is here you cannot use so things are changing now the whole idea of the sentence will be changed in that case that is people in our country are still not cautious about uh, women empowerment so things are changing now just think about the bangla meaning je amader desher manushjon ekhono hocche narir khomotayoner bapare socheton na ebong tai hocche poristhiti poribortito hocche terrible thing we make mistakes in, uh, in the questions of connectors when we cannot use the proper connector in the at the proper place that is when i am using so when i have to use however <coughs> then the whole meaning gets changed so we must not use so here but we can use so or thus here when i am summing up something and i am speaking about the result of something actually i am i am permitted to use the connectors like as a result like thus like so but when i am summing up a particular incident that is there are many reasons behind it and i am summing up the whole idea then what should i use like
Native Americans have a rich culture. Moreover, they built a great civilization once upon a time. Above all, they have wonderful record of fighting against colonialism. Above all, this is the connector when I am summing up something that is above all. You have to sum up the idea and <coughs> you have to end the idea. You can say above all. Or suppose The history of so-called United Pakistan is full of pain and bloodshed. The Bengalis were exploited brutally. In the end, we can only say that the West Pakistanis treated us mercilessly. So, we, when I am ending a paragraph, when I am summing up the idea, I can also say in the end, this is uh, rather an uncommon expression instead of above all. So, we can say above all, we can say in the end, we can say at last. These are the things when we sum up the idea of a particular paragraph or <coughs> some particular sentences. These are used uh, usually at the last sentence of a particular paragraph of a particular passage.
in economics bangladesh paradox is a popular popular phrase though our country has many negative features our economy is still booming when any economist speaks about us he speaks with high optimism <coughs> this phrase uh, this passage is regarding our economy and <coughs> when i am saying uh, when i am reading this look there are two connectors used here one is though it is of course something making contrast that is our we have many negative features we know it we have many negative features uh, we have corruption we have high population <coughs> our peop many of our people are still very much poor but our economy is still booming and when i am referring to a particular time then i am using this wh word when so when which where who how all of these wh words they are actually been used <coughs> as connectors in fact all the relative pronouns they are being used as connectors <coughs> as i have said that um, in case of <coughs> connectors in our country often <coughs> the uh, differentiation between linking words and connectors is not maintained properly so e even you may get you may get question at your <coughs> ex uh, examination where you have to use that when where <coughs> how these uh, linking word <coughs> these <coughs> relative pronouns in between your sentences maybe it happened so just learn that relative pronouns are also being used as connectors so this is actually all about connectors today and uh, I think if you practice it at your home then of course you will be able to learn about connectors more and more Thank you students for being with us and be safe. Allah Hafiz.